Hi guys, my name's Harry. In this video, we will design the interface so that we can create a new user. This is the interface that displays the users in the system, we have a button to create new users. This will be the interface we build, includes very nice inputs. We will need an email, password, name as well as role or gender to create a new user. Let's start this video. To start this video, let's first run the project, with the command, npm start. Then, in the view folder. We will create a new view, so we can create a new user in the system. We will create a new file in the user directory, right click, select new file. I will name it create user. After that, we reopen the user management interface. Ctrl plus A to select all. We will copy the contents of this file, and update the file we just created. I have noticed that this file does not standardize the structure of an HTML file, is missing the preamble, similarly, the manage user file is also missing. Try to check the homepage again, it is still standard HTML structure. Let's copy these first two lines, and update the missing files again. Then, update the title of the file just created. I will name it create new user. We also changed the names in this section to distinguish between the parts. In the content, we will delete all, just save the part as I do. We will delete the contents of this div. Delete all the contents of div column 12. As a result, we will get one empty div like this. Here, I will create a form to be able to create a new user in the system. Before creating the form, we will check to see if we have created a router to get this page. Open manage user file again. We have created a router to get the user account creation page, but we have not defined this router on the server side yet. Define a new router, with this router, we will create another controller. We will create a new controller, responsible for managing, adding, and deleting user accounts. So in the controller directory, create a new file with the name of the user controller. We will be using the user controller, so let's import the user controller. Import user controller, from controller directory. Update our router, controller name, then router handler function. We create a new function, with the name get create user page. We copy the name of the new function, and open the user controller. We will define a new function here. Using an arrow function, passing the request and response parameters. We also don't forget to export the functions for use in other files. In this function, we simply render the interface file, so use the render function, followed by the link to the interface file. Here will be users directory, file create user. To test what we have done, open the browser, we will go to localhost port 8080. Click on this icon and select login. Log into the system with your email and password. Once logged in, we will go to the management page. Here, select users, next select all, then click the button to create a new user. We got this error, we can't find the view file to render. To fix this, we need to fix it like this, remove the slash first. Click Save Changes, wait for our server to restart, then reload the web page. This time we succeeded in accessing the new router, creating a new user. To quickly create the theme and design a beautiful theme, we will use Bootstrap 4. 
By default, we do not need to import Bootstrap into the project, because the admin LTE template already has Bootstrap 4 available. Here, we will use the form in Bootstrap. As you can see, there are a lot of sample forms to choose from. Every input, select, or other attribute in the form of HTML has been customized, so it looks very nice. In addition, for each sample form, we just copy and run, no need to install anything. In this section, scroll to the form row section, we will copy this part. I use this form because it has pre-designed input for data, such as email and password. Click on the copy to copy this form. Back in our code. We will paste the copy here, right in the div column 12 tag, the body of this tag. Control S to save their modifications. Let's check out this interface. Reload the web page. As you can see, we have created a form to enter data. Very beautiful and very professional looking. The next step is to modify this form. We only keep the necessary properties, and adds input to be able to create a new account for the user. First, we don't need this checkbox, click on this div, highlight both div and delete it. Update the button from sign in to save. We won't need the zip code option, so I'll copy the select box above, and overwrite it. We will have two select inputs, one to choose the gender, and one to choose the role of the user. Next, we will update the information from top to bottom. Update the label name, then add the name attribute to the inputs. For Node.js, since we are processing on the server side, in order to be able to get the values of the input fields, we have to set the name property for them, instead of using the ID property. We do the same with input password and address. Here, we update the ID to address. Do the same for this label, then don't forget to set name attribute. I update the name attribute for password, and at the same time, update the address input. We will need one input for the description of the user, change this name to description. Since the description can be very long, so instead of using an input, we will use a text area. Delete the type attribute, update the name attribute for description. Copy and update the label above. I will add space between the inputs, to make our code easier to see. Next, we will need one input for the user to enter the name, change city to full name. Add space to make the code easier to see. We will update input select. The first will be one select to choose the role of the user, followed by one select to choose the gender. By default, we will set the user gender to male, and the value for this input will be 1. In case the gender of the user is female, the value of the input will be 0. We do the same with the select role, by default, the new user's permission will be users, the value will be 0. Additionally, we'll create other options for doctors, counselors, and admins. Set the value to 1 for the doctor. Don't forget to update the ID and name for the input. Set name role and update name for gender here. The option for the counselor will be set to 2, the option for admins will be 3.
we haven't updated the name for this input, set ID, and name. This input field will be changed to description. Save the changes and check out what we did. Reload the web page. Something isn't right here. The text area field has an error, and we don't see select inputs like gender or role. We will comment on the text area and check it out. Reload the web page. This time we have input select, but they are on two different lines. I want to select roles and gender will be on the same line. Because Grid Layout Bootstrap has a maximum of 12 columns, here we have used 14 columns, so we set this column to 2. This time, we succeeded, two select inputs are on one line. To fix the text area error, on the bootstrap form page, we will search with the keyword text area. We'll copy the code using the text area. Paste it just below our code. Update the name for the text area to description. Set the name attribute. Delete the comment code, save the changes. This time we have a text area to enter the user's description. The final step is to change the position of this text area. I will put the text area down to the end of the new user creation form. Cut this block code, then paste it here, right above the save user button. Save changes. Reload this page. This is the interface we build. We will need email, password, address, name, role as well as gender and description of the user.